Yo guys, uh, different type of video here, so I'm going to do this lab run. I'm going to try one of the new keys. Apparently, it's a lot harder in here. I have no idea, but I got a gift to the goddess. Spent 50C on it, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I guess I should have my uh, thing up. Oh, well, that's good enough. You might hear me hit alt tab once in a while. All right, so here we go. Uh, not quite comfortable with my damage yet, but we'll see how it goes. Let's we'll take our time. This won't be like a speedy lab. What's the mods on here? EXP gain. Damage taken. Oh, wow. Damage over time debuffs. Zero does more damage. Well, it's only 30%. That's not so bad. I'm not too worried about that. Monsters deal. Labyrinth monsters have... Oh, it's not Izaro. Oh, Izaro has 300. Alright, so I'm not going to be doing Argus, I guess. Let's see how this goes. So I don't have my Quicksilver Flask or anything on. I got my... Kind of my boss set up going. So here we got a golden room apparently. I haven't ran lab yet, so here's the golden key. I'm kind of, I don't want to, okay. I'm just testing the waters here on the traps. Because they do do more damage. Oh, I better not get into the habit of doing that. Okay, perfect. There is a dark shrine up here. Can I not have but a moment's respite? It is actually worth killing monsters because they give lots of EXP. So we will see how this goes. Hopefully we get a good shrine. I actually wanted a few times I want to take less damage from traps. Okay, we got extra key. Not really worrying about keys on this run. We'll see how things go here. So far, not so bad. Okay, so this will be a little rough. Alright, let's just... Uh, I am a Pathfinder, so... Uh, I may take some time to regen my flasks, but so far, so good. So far, so good. So let's head to the next area here. I don't know if there's only one door or two. I will go here. I do not want to fight Argus with 300% increased damage. No spank you. Alright, next room. Alright, I'm not worrying about golden keys right now. Kind of worried about spike traps if they clip me because they can do a lot of bleeding damage. So we'll just take our time through here. There should be a dark shrine over here somewhere. Or is it near the exit? I should have ran this lab normally first to figure out where everything is. Alright, I'm going to guess it's over here. That is a lot of chaos damage. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Alright. Get out of get me out of there. I don't like this. <laughs> Woo. Alright. First phase of Zaro. Let's see how this goes. He's conduits first, so I'm going to try to keep him down. But I want to test the waters with the damage here. Okay, sword and board.
at a moment's respite? One's up. All right, I'll take it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. What do we got next? Portals is the last thing. All right. Room two. This acceleration shrine actually helps a lot with traps, so it's kind of nice. Is this the way I gotta go? Yeah. So there's a dark shrine in here. I think this is an outdoor area. Yep. Let's see if we can get a dark shrine here. Go. Gift of our primitive. Not sure what door I need, so I'm gonna have to click on the thing here just to see. Not that one. What about up here? There we go. So this one's portals. I'm pretty confident that I can uh, take the extra key for this one. I didn't even look at the final room. The final room can make this really hard. And saw is it's the toughest room. All right, this is going to be rough on the final area. All right, up and to the right. No more dark shrines, is there? I almost should have went into that one room and see if it would turn off his traps. So it could be a possibility that I die in the final room here. Hopefully not, as I'm almost level 94. I didn't even think of that. I should have leveled first. Oh well. We will see how this goes. Shouldn't be too bad, but... Alright, well, here we go. Wish me luck, boys and girls. Oh, they're turned off. Okay, we're good. Our slim chances of winning just went up to pretty good. Wave attacks should be coming soon. There we go. There we go. Calling strike for the win. Alright, we got our keys. Alright, let's see how this goes. Pretty good EXP in there, to be honest with you. Alright, a couple six sockets. Perfect. Is this any good? AOE on the corrupt. Alright, so we got seven enchants apparently. 
So let's grab this and my other abyssus. I think I got two. See what we got. Alright. That's not gonna go. Nope. Uh don't think so. I'm gonna chant down here and see. Scourge arrow no. If that was lacerate damage, that would probably go. That might go. All right, let's go back up here again. Maybe those will go. So this was kind of neat. Um, my personal opinion on this, it's definitely not worth 50C. Uh, the EXP is good, uh, but if you have a tough time in normal lab, you're really going to have a tough time in this one. I have like a characters specifically for this lab if the keys go down to 20 C I would say it's worth it 20 25 C but I don't think they're worth it at least for the helm enchant one at uh, I think I paid like 50 something C it'd be more efficient just to get a bunch of normal labs and just speed run them where there's not all this extra damage and everything uh, the EXP stuff is kind of cool. Like, I did get almost bar in there. Uh, Azaro dealing 30% increased damage is pretty good for me. Unless he crits me, uh, I'm not really worried about it. Uh, the increased damage from Labyrinth Traps. Like I said, my character is specialized for lab. I barely took damage from him anyway. But the uh, I noticed with the ones where you use a movement skill, and those ones hurt a lot. Just be careful with the spike traps if you're planning on doing this uh, if they clip you on the side they will probably hit you with a really nasty bleed now um obviously the double damage ones will hurt you and i'm not sure about the fire it'll probably just do more damage just yeah so my opinion on this it was fun uh the pack size was cool like i said it's good for exp really but hard to say that uber lab we can run it for exp now uh, if you're just looking for something different and want to just, you could probably full clear lab and like I'm level 93 and I got a bar and I just kind of sped run lab. But if you uh, did all the rooms and everything, I bet you you could probably get two or three bars out of here. It's pretty good to be honest with you, exp wise. But for farming helmet chance, definitely I would rather do the normal the normal uh uber lab for sure i'm gonna try the key one and i think i don't know what the other oh belt and chant i don't know what belt and chants there are but i'll give them a shot through the week throw a video up for those and give my opinion on them but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um normal lab videos will be out this week as par usual and yeah, that's my opinion on it. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to run some more of these full runs through the week. I can probably do one here and there just to switch it up a bit. If you want to see how my guy performs in lab, if you guys are interested in this character, I will be making a build guide. Well, Wednesday is a holiday for us up in Canada, so I'll see if I can work on it that day. I just released a harvest video yesterday on how to build your farm. So let me know what you guys think of that as well. And uh, yeah, see you around. I hope you guys enjoyed the video.